Well, it was another blustery day leading to a chilly night in our area. Kate's with us now to tell us about a warm up that's on the way. Hey there. Hey, Yuki, a warm up sounds fantastic right about now because it is cold outside for the month of May, although that's really no change from the rest of this month. It has been cold for quite some time, but almost near record cold outside tonight. And what everyone's thinking is, is it going to warm up for Memorial Day weekend? It's the unofficial start to summer. And even if you're not going anywhere, maybe you're just looking forward to a break from yelling at the kids to get on their Zoom calls. We want nice weather for Memorial Day. I think we have some of that, but we'll start off with outside right now. There's a live look at Center City. It's quiet, but it's chilly. It's already in the 40s, 49 degrees in Philly right now, 46 in Millville. Got a pair of fours in Mount Holly. Not a great poker hand, not a great temperature in May either. 46 degrees in Allentown, and it's 49 in Wilmington, Delaware, and still a bit of a breeze. Although the wind is dying down, we still have 12 mile per hour east winds in Philly, 13 mile per hour winds there in Wildwood. So looking ahead, and you can see overnight we drop down to the mid 40s. The record low for tomorrow morning's date in Philadelphia is 41. So we are closer than five degrees to that record tomorrow morning. And it does warm up once the sun comes out, but a chilly start to the day. If you go out for your morning walk, make sure you've got the heavy sweatshirt or jacket on. Storm scan three showing clear conditions for now, but off to the south, we've got this pesky upper level low pressure system. It has pretty much stayed away from us as far as the rain is concerned. It's what's helping drive in that east wind, but eventually that low is going to shift north and we will pick up on some rain. So you can see all the blue here on our May calendar. We've only had one day this month of May in the 80s. Last May, we had 12 days in the 80s. We're more than four degrees below average on the month so far. Tonight's low, there's that near record 45 degrees, partly cloudy and cool. For tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 70. It's a quiet afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. You know what? It's five degrees below average, but I don't think anyone's complaining about sunny and 70 on a May day. The question is, when does that rain get into the region? Well, not tomorrow down the shore, but look how much cooler it is with that east wind. The high will struggle to even get out of the 50s. So what you're looking at here is the upper air pattern where you see that yellow circle, that bowling ball of cold air. That's that upper low. And notice how as we get into Friday, it drifts a little bit closer to us bringing us our best chance for showers. Then it gets absorbed into a system to the north. Big ridge of high pressure builds, and that's when we start to warm things up Sunday into Monday and Tuesday of next week. So tomorrow, some clouds form to the south, but it's not until Friday afternoon that we have a chance for scattered showers, perhaps a thunder shower, another stray shower or thunder shower on Saturday. But look at the warm up, 78 Saturday, and it's quiet and pleasant Sunday and Memorial Day Monday. Low 70s with some sunshine both days, and we may finally hit one of those elusive 80s as we head into the middle of next week. So, Yuki, the good news is every day in the seven-day forecast is 70 or better, mm -hmm. which we haven't really been able to say so far in the month of May, and some quiet, pleasant weather for the holiday weekend. That looks pretty good, to tell you the truth. Kate, thanks so much. Appreciate it.